I'm going to do a brief history of the band Panic at the Party, I mean Panic at the Disco. Panic at the Disco have five albums. A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Ryan Ross. Nearly Witches. That One That No One Likes. And Brendan at the Disco. Panic at the Disco started off with Ryan Ross as the lead singer but then Brendan Uren came along and was a better singer so then Brendan became the lead singer. Brendan you bitch. There was also Spencer Smith who banged on the drums and Brendan who no one cares about and looked like a bald mole rat. Some people think that Brendan and Ryan Ross were gay together and this was called Ryden but I don't know why Ryan Ross would want to be gay with Brendan Urie because Brendan Urie had ugly glasses. In 2005 they released the best album which was a fever you can't sweat out. It had that song about closing doors on it and they used words that no one understands. Then, the mole rat Brent Willie got kicked out because he sucked. He got replaced by John Walker who wears sandals and looks like a hobo. At least he doesn't look like a homeless lesbian. JK Ryan I love you. In 2008 Pretty Gay was released and everyone was like WTF this doesn't sound like emo trash. Ryan Ross sang on some of the songs like Behind the Sea. I think Ryan Ross should have sung the whole album but that's just personal preference. Then, a terrible thing happened. Ryan Ross and John Walker left Panic at the party and then it was just Brendan and Spencer. Some people think that it's cause Ryan and Brendan broke up but they said it was creative differences. Can we all please have a moment of silence for this tragic event? Thanks. Brendan and Spencer released a song with a weird ass music video and then Ian Crawford who no one remembers joined the band as a guitarist. Then the best member of Panic at the Disco joined his name is Dallin James Weeks I love Dallin James Weeks. In 2011 the album Nearly Witches was made by Brendan and Spencer. Nearly Witches a song from the album. Nearly Witches has a lyric written by Ryan Ross Nuff said. In 2013 Brendan. Spencer, and Dalen released another album which had lots of auto-tune on and no one really liked it very much. I don't know why. Maybe because it had that hideous song Girl That You Love on it. No one likes Girl That You Love. It sucks. Then in 2015 everybody left Brendan Urie so he was lonely. That's what you get Brendan cause you are a bitch. Now Brendan had no friends apart from his two dogs so he had to make another album by himself. I think that Dallin should have made the album because I love Dallin but that's just personal preference. This album was called Death of a Man with Friends. It had songs like Victorious and I Miss Ryan Ross on. Now Brendan tours with old man Kenny Harris. Dang Paul Ivich of the Jets the Fats and Dallin Weeks I love Dallin Weeks. The end. Bye.